Hi YouTube, it is Saturday, February 17th at 12.10. It is 40 degrees outside according to Norm's car. Supposedly at 5 o'clock, it's a 100% chance that we're going to get snow, but it is not cloudy at all. It is bright and sunny, and I don't think we're actually going to get snow, but what do you think, Norm? No, he, he, doesn't, doesn't. he doesn't think so either. So... I wanted to talk a little bit. So today's our Valentine's Day. Um, I got flowers delivered at work, which I showed you guys, um, and on Wednesday. And we had a nice dinner at home, um, which we planned. And then we knew we were gonna do something this weekend. So we're heading to Ocean City, which is um, the closest resort beach to us. That guy's straight up drunk and sound asleep. Oh, that's not good. <laughs> and um, He's not even on the road. It's not, obviously we're not going to go to the beach because it's 40 degrees and it's still in Maryland so it's not like we're going to a tropical place. He might, but I'm not. Um, and we got a place down there and we're going to Ruth's Chris tonight and if you don't know what a Ruth's Chris is and their steak, you need to find out because it's the best steak ever. And I've eaten them all over the United States and I've eaten steak in at least four other continents and I can tell you Chris absolutely, this particular Chris absolutely prepares my steak and the best cut of steak better than anybody else. And the restaurant we're going to is in Berlin, Maryland, and it um, actually is the stable that used to house um, the racehorse Man of War. Yep. And um, they turned it into a restaurant, and some of the tables in the bar and the restaurant and the bathrooms still have the doors that um, used to be on the stable, so it's really cool. And we get the best service there. It's just ridiculous. Josh. Yeah, his name is Josh. He's like the best server ever. If you ever go to the one in Berlin, Maryland, ask for Josh. He's amazing. He's silly and goofy and amazing. He's funny. He probably don't weigh uh, 125 pounds. <laughs> so his, so the only Weight Watchers thing I'm going to discuss on this particular video is that tonight's dinner is going to take all of my daily points. I already pre-tracked it. It's going to be 28 points and I may even go into my weeklies if we eat other than at Ruth's Chris. Mm. So what I wanted to talk about though was Valentine's Day. So a lot of my friends on um, Facebook and even in general are saying things to me like, oh, well, you know, we've been married for so long. We don't really celebrate Valentine's Day anymore. And we don't think it's that big of a deal. We show each other love every day. And that's cool if that's the way you do things. But for me, I personally, I think we do show each other love every day. Probably not as much as we should. Um, and I think no one probably does that. But Valentine's Day to me is just a cute, fun way to kind of like go all out. And I think it's also a way to show your partner um, how well you know them. And, you know, I, I listen to you and I know that you like flowers or I know you hate flowers or I know you're on Weight Watchers so you can't have candy and and just kind of give that extra little oomph. And if you don't want to do the, the Hallmark part of it, then don't buy a card. You know, if you don't want to do flowers, then don't do flowers, but do something on on Valentine's Day. You know, unless it's some kind of like against your religion or something, you should do Valentine's Day. It's sweet and it's nice. And a lot of people say, well, I don't have a Valentine. Find somebody, have, you know, be your kid's Valentine or find somebody that needs one and just be a friend Valentine. I love Valentine's Day. And it actually makes me sad when people say they don't celebrate Valentine's Day. Then again, I love things that are pink hearts, and red and girly and frilly and lacy and I love getting flowers at work and that's kind of he's laughing why are you laughing because it wasn't always the case there have been times where in 26 years where we have been going through stuff and I've said don't send me flowers yeah, at work that's a little different I mean like it used to be look there was a time weren't getting flowers at work because we couldn't afford them. So sure. we were getting flowers and they would be on the table when you got home or I would bring them home with me for my own times. Guys, if you can't afford to do I can tell you what I paid for the flowers I sent them. 
I have to pay extra because she does work on a base, so they have to give her more military installation to be able to deliver them to the particular Anne Arundel County school she works at. But um, it, you pay a premium for that, kind of like sending something to Myrtle Beach or whatever. But what I paid for those flowers, and then when I saw beautiful flowers in the store for her, I could have walked in the store in the door for 20 bucks or 30 bucks and had two dozen roses, gorgeous roses on the table. It's not the same thing. So, if your wife wants flowers sent to her job, then send them to her job. There's just something about A, flowers being delivered, and B, flowers being delivered in front of your friends, your co-workers, the people around you, and... But how would you know? They try to keep your flowers. The people at my job like didn't tell me I had flowers, and I walked past them like twice before someone said, "Hey, these are for you." Um, they were nice beautiful. They're beautiful. I showed you guys um, the flowers. I didn't show you the vase. I'll have to show that to you another time because it's gorgeous. The vase itself is beautiful. Um, but you know, there was a time where I would get mad, and I'd say, "You send flowers to work because it's you know you're just trying to lay claim to me." And you're, you're like a dog peeing on me. And that's when we were going through our, our issues. And like we've said before, we've been through just about everything yeah, that a couple can go through. Um, I don't know how crazy you are. I think you're crazy. It's too much of a crazy. Right. And that's kind of what it is. We know each other's crazy. And, um, and I know him. And I know what he doesn't, what he wants for Valentine's Day doesn't come from a store. And... You know, so I don't have to go out and buy balloons and flowers and whatever. There's a reason and the hearts are shaped the same way. <laughs> so did you know that hearts, obviously it's not like the heart in your chest. A heart is actually shaped like an upside down woman's buttocks. There's a reason for that. So. So all those little candy hearts that actually say stuff, you can write those same things on your wife's butt cheeks or anywhere. But you know it doesn't always have to be candy because how do you get candy? Because I've always gotten married the nick of my butt. Or I would go to a chocolate chocolatier. Chocolatier, yes. Chocolatier. Uh, there's a pretty famous one here in Maryland, been around decades. Uh, actually Lisa worked there as a part timer when she was younger. And I used to go to Walk and Fuss. And Their truffles are ridiculous. Get the truffles. Ridiculous. And they had champagne truffles. And they had all kinds of things that she loved. And she's on Weight Watcher, so that's kind of counterproductive. And she had just got back. So you got to know your partner. Because a couple of years ago, for Valentine's, somebody got to go ghost hunting at Eastern State Penitentiary. So that's one of the funny stories. Like, we have a ton of funny, funny stories. But one of the funniest is... Um, I got word, he actually had sent me a text um, a couple of days before Valentine's Day, and he said, I need you to take off half a day. I think it was the day before Valentine's. And um, I said, okay, for what? And he said, well, we're going somewhere for Valentine's Day, but it's a little different, and I'm kind of afraid you're not going to like it. And I was like, okay, well, what is it? I don't think it was that I was afraid you were going to like it. I was afraid it wouldn't be what they advertised. Right. And it really was. And it kind of wasn't. But... It was um, a ghost hunt at Eastern State Penitentiary. And when I was telling all my friends, I'm like, you have no idea what we're doing. We're going ghost hunting at Eastern State Penn for Valentine's Day. They would look at me like, what the heck is wrong with you? That's and, not romantic. Right. It was. I loved it. It actually was. I loved every part of it. But and that's knowing your partner. Exactly. That's knowing your partner. Like I said, I know he doesn't want flowers and candy and, no and candy, cards. No flowers, I could get him a card. He, I could get him a card. He likes cards. I don't like cards. In, I like your writing better than anything Hallmark's ever done. And in the past, I've done like chocolate covered bananas because that's a favorite of his. We owned a candy company for a while and he liked my candy and I would make that for him once in a while. But a lot of times it was also just let's go out to dinner and we didn't do anything. We just went out to dinner. Um, and it just depends on where you are in your life at that time. Oh, yeah, the club. Right, we, we go to the club. club. <laughs> um, but when I hear people say, we just don't celebrate Valentine's Day at all, it just makes me sad. Do something, you know, get a card, you know, order a heart-shaped pizza. I think every year it's kind of like skipping your senior prom. Right? I agree, and, and I always... People don't have dates, we still go to prom. But I always think people who say, we don't celebrate Valentine's Day... I always wonder, well, 
do you celebrate it other times? Like, do you show your love all year long? And if you do, and, and you as a couple have decided we're not gonna do Valentine's Day, then I guess that's fine. But it's just, you know, it's that hokey little thing of, of the hearts and the cards and the flowers, and it's the kind of stuff I like. I'm a goofball at Christmas time. Two years ago, I brought you down here for a ghost walk. Right, we've done a ghost walk in Ocean City for Valentine's. Actually, I, a lot more stories down there than I did. Right, and I'm a goofball it like it, it was. Like oh my gosh. I'm a goofball for Christmas. Like, I love all the hokey Every Christmas stuff. I I'm a goofball for Thanksgiving. I we want turkeys. House and nine Christmas trees. I don't put nine Christmas trees up anymore. I put two up this year. Well, two actual trees, and then there was the house anyway. that we moved out of to move into the house you grew up in had nine Christmas yes, trees. Yes, had nine Christmas trees. And we still have one. No, we don't. I give one to you. Um, but, so we have eight. <laughs> but, I don't know. I, I, I just, I love holidays and I know, I know that he loves me all the time. And I also know that if I ask for something throughout the year and he can do it, he's going to do it. But one of the things that I've, I've always loved is that he listens to me throughout the year and I say, I want this. And then at Christmas time or Valentine's day, or it's just sometime like, you know, months later I get it. And he's like, you said you wanted that, right? Because he listens. And that, I guess that's what Valentine's day and some other holidays show me is that he listens to me like one year and this is not a valentine's day thing but i had said you know the little butters that they sell yes i said butter at thanksgiving in the shape of a turkey i said they make me happy when i see them it's it's goofy and i love them and he went out and i guess he didn't realize they sold them in grocery stores and where did you go to get it the the amish. Amish. he went to the amish <laughs> market the they and had them, them do guess. they made them and he had them make him one um and then at easter they do lambs and and we don't even really do anything for easter we eat, we eat. um brunch. yeah we have a brunch so and he went and got those and the funny thing is every I time know he, that I'm gonna do i don't know what we're gonna do for easter this year it's on april fool's day did you know that I don't know. at all that was kind of a mom's oh yeah we used to kind of do our own thing in the morning brunch and then we go to her house for like a, a dinner <laughs> where it was yeah, kind of a lunch and a it's dinner. It's always been because we, I insisted that we would not leave the house with the children. So Christmas we don't leave. Uh, Christmas Eve we used to go to your mom's but now they all come to our house because we bought your mom's house. Right. So Christmas Eve uh, we have at our house. Thanksgiving Day, we have at our house because he won't holidays, eat anybody else's Thanksgiving food. No else or stuff. But now that we lost his mom, I, do, I didn't even think about that. Easter is going to be rough on him this year, I think, because that was kind of her thing. So, yep. so if you've got any ways to celebrate Easter in a non-traditional way that I can make him feel better. I'll still make his food, though, because he likes when I cook. I'll just maybe we just won't do traditional Easter stuff. And you know what else? We'll have an Easter egg hunt for the onion and Dominic, yeah. and that'll make him happy. That's, or maybe I think this is the first year we actually went out on Christmas Day. We went to yeah. them because they're the little ones now, and ours are kind of. Or grown. maybe we'll go to our own brunch on Easter Sunday. You no, know, I was thinking we would do that. We would just go away and maybe we'll go, go to Idaho. Or, I don't know, go to Idaho and see my grandson out there on Easter. I don't know. I think I made him sad. I didn't mean to make him sad. But, but it's my. Just gonna be rough. It is, and I, I think that holiday. I think every holiday this year, from this point on, is going to be rough because it's going to be that first holiday. Um, New Year's Eve was not fun this year um, for either one of us because um, she had just passed the day before. Um, so we kind of really didn't do much. You know, it was just one of those things. You know, um, but. Now I'm getting teary. Um, my point was, I love holidays, and he knows I love holidays, and they're not his favorite thing, but they've become that holidays. way for him. I never liked Thanksgiving. You know what's always been a good holiday for us? Fourth of July. That's why we own the house. We've always loved I Fourth would of July. I bought that house at all. I don't care about Christmas Eve. I, the house he likes Christmas Eve now, though. Ears. It's an old house. I'm an old guy. I can't keep up with it. 
You know, and I've and told actually, him. Actually, that's not true because I've gone damn there all the repairs between the sewer line and BGE broke that I had to replace, and the plumbing that I had Craig come out and do, and uh, one more bathroom and one kitchen, and we're pretty much done. And the only way that I would sell it, which I don't want to, but the only way that I would sell it would be to buy the type of house that it we moved RV out of, and, and that's not what I I want to have an RV and go, but I want to have a house to come home to. Uh, that would be just fine. An apartment. No. I would want like a Madero where we came from, but see, we differ on certain things. We don't get along on everything. We don't agree <laughs> on everything, um, but anyway, so that was my opinion on Valentine's Day and people who don't celebrate it. And again, to each his own, I just think it's, you know, you have to know your partner and, if you, and truly know whether your partner wants to celebrate it or are they just going along with... Well, my husband doesn't want to celebrate it because he thinks it's, um, you know, Well, that's not whatever. true either because I didn't want to celebrate Thanksgiving. It was to you, it was Thanksgiving when we first met, and I told you it was just Thursday. But you've made that special because, number one, you're a phenomenal cook, and number two, that is the greatest meal. So to be able to sit in my living room and eat that kind of a meal, which is not my budget. No. <laughs> and watch football all day up until this year was one of my favorite things to do for the last 20 years. Yeah, when I planned this channel, I actually thought that I would do some videos of him talking about football and about him um, saying, this is the game this week and this is what I saw and this is whatever. And almost giving him that outlet that when, like he talks to me about football. Nothing about football. I don't know, but I'm mad. But this year he's mad with the NFL. So, you know, we just kind of skipped that part. However, today... I've been, I've had camping fever today. Even though it's only like 39 degrees outside according to the car, I've been looking up camping recipes. I've been thinking about our tent. Um, I've been thinking you know, about hikes. Is awesome. a hike is awesome. I want to do all 48 states. We, we RV. want an RV. I want to just get in the RV and go. We do. We want an RV and just go. I don't my beautiful Hemi or if we just get rid of Hemi, drive the RV and pull Jeffrey behind it. Which I, you know, I want to do. I want to get in that RV and I want to go. But what, but before we I can... The, the United States is a beautiful nation. And I want to be able to see it all again. And I saw it. I saw most of it. I've been in 36 in the United States. And I've been in six continents. But I want to go stand and look at the Grand Canyon. With not having to get out of there until I'm ready to go. I want to go look at... Every, I want to see the biggest skin. I want to see the biggest pizza. I want to see the biggest Bali art. I want to go ride through Montana and eat a steak. From I think Long this Mondo. summer I'd like to go north. I'd like to see Maine and yeah, and let's and, eat some lobster you know. bisque for breakfast and let's have some lobster for dinner in Maine. So last year we were just kind of getting into camping again. We hadn't done camping because the kids, the kids you know. For, we have seven of them. There. And we've kind of mastered camping. We can get our, and I'll, I'll film this next time we go camping. We can get our campsite set up in 11 minutes and that's everything. That's bed, um, eating tent, kitchen, tent, everything, 11 minutes. The tent itself is up in a minute. Um, Drive up oh, absolutely. And, and eventually that's what we're going to do, 100%. Um, but I would really, we, we kind of stayed Pennsylvania, Virginia. This, there's so much to see. There is, there's tons to see. There was a Grand Canyon there. Did you know there was a Grand Canyon of Pennsylvania? It's gorgeous. We didn't. It's absolutely gorgeous. Beautiful. Um, it was actually one of, the one of the last things his mom did was yeah, to go to see that. Yeah, she saw the pictures and she liked it so much she made a trip to so so it's, it's worth seeing. We want to go to Maine. I want to go to um, right. You go. You can see it for free. I want to go to Boston and and see Salem again. And I want to go. Um, just I just want to head in that direction. We gotta get you to Harry Potter. Oh my God! I want to see the Harry Potter world so bad. It it kills me. Um, I always say, other than Christmas and Thanksgiving, going to Harry Potter will be the only time I don't track on Weight Watchers. I just say I'm not doing it. <laughs> um, sound yep. Oh, butterbeer sounds delicious. Hot and cold. All right, so anything else? No, I am actually deciding whether we're going to get lunch from this three hour drive or whether we're just going to be hungry so we're going to go to eat tonight with our reservations. I got Either is fine with me. Um, the next time we talk, and maybe it'll, maybe it'll even be tomorrow. If not, it'll be maybe next weekend. But I want to talk about 
laughter and how important laughter is in a marriage even after 26 years and I'll tell you the dumb joke he told me the other day so we have a couple of friends and they're going through some stuff right now um, and you know it's very um, some of the stuff that they were arguing they haven't been married a year they own a farm and they were having pretty a major fight and I said to him I said you know she really just needs to kind of get off the farm a little bit I said but you know we've had this fight and he said what are you talking about we've never lived on a farm I laughed for like five minutes we had to turn the TV down or pause it so I could laugh because it cracked me up um, we've had where we were as a family we were all out at a Christmas tree or a Christmas light thing and we're for like 25 minutes looking for the car looking for my truck looking for the truck right and Carly goes guys we're looking for mom's Kia we had to sit down in the <laughs> parking lot and laugh because we were laughing so hard six people looking at a parking lot that everybody rode in that car to get up for 25 minutes looking for a lost truck but I know this is where we parked and we passed the Kia looking like right 20 times thing, and the youngest says God we're looking for the Kia so now <laughs> when when tensions kind of get high in the room sometimes somebody will yell guys we're looking for a Kia and it's just funny it makes people laugh so I think that's what I want to talk about next time is laughter and how important that is that's so awesome. shut up so so some of you had said that you wanted to see Norm and hadn't seen him in a while and some had said that they just joined our channel and um, hadn't met him at all so also and a he is a delight um, and I think we might do a get to know us video too, maybe this weekend on the way home, um, which I think will be fun. So thank you to all of our new viewers and welcome. And um, if you wanna see Weight Watchers content, I have that throughout the week. If you wanna see Norman and I and our 26 years, I usually do that on weekends, so you know which one to look at. Anyway, um, thanks for tuning in, thanks for watching. Hit the little subscribe button on the bottom. If you hit the bell, it will tell you every time we post a new video. And um, if you like this, hit the like button. And if you have questions for Norm and I, and if you have questions for Norm and I, we will answer them. We're both kind of an open book, so um, let us know, and we'll answer them. Or let us know what kind of videos you want to see. You want to see camping? You want to see cooking? You want to see football? You want to see Ocean City? What do you want to see? Um, and we'll catch you guys next time. Bye, YouTube. Say bye, Norm. Bye. Maybe we should post a picture of all this restaurant. We, I might do a quick little. It's no um, restaurant anybody's ever seen a mustard color. Yeah, maybe I'll do a quick little um, couple of pictures to throw in, and I'll definitely take a picture of our um, dinner. And if we decide to eat lunch, I'll take a picture of that too. Be back in a few. <laughs> what are we doing out here? Feeling up your foot. It's cold.